on Sundays, I like to make time for family. If we're not going to do anything special and I have like a lot of work to do or like I have a lot of chores to catch up with at the house, then, you know, we'll just spend like a lot of time on together on a Saturday. And then on Sunday, we just stay at our houses. But if there's like maybe somebody who's going to make a lunch or a dinner, then I will make time for that. So right now it is 3 o'clock. I'm going to go to my grandparents' house that's just right across from me. And my parents are there as well. Ian's about to go to work now. So I do spend a little time with him when I'm home. Um, but he's been working Sundays lately. So he leaves now. Um, and I, when I was home, I, I got up like what you guys saw. I started to do laundry. I caught up on all my like my editing I still have some left to do but I'll do that when I get home so I did some editing I uploaded my Sunday video because that's something that I have to do all, every Sunday obviously I upload my Sunday video and I just showered really quickly put a little bit of makeup and then now I'm gonna spend time with my family probably until five o'clock I like to be home by five on Sundays if I am going to go out so that I have time to catch up on my laundry, fold the clothes, um, do my little spa routine that I do, which is like wash my hair, my mask. If my nails aren't done, I will do my nails too and then get everything ready for work on Monday, like my clothes and my, my oats, my overnight oats, and yeah. <music> Just got home at like 4.50. I think it's 4.50 right now. Oh my gosh. No, it's five o'clock on point. I got home, um, I ate at my grandparents and now I'm going to shower. And now at this time, I'm like dead. I am tired. Like I don't want to do anything. So that's why I'm kind of like more productive in the morning than at night. At night, I'm going, I'm just like kind of just on my couch um maybe editing a video or planning something um and folding my laundry or maybe and also doing my nails maybe um something that's just i don't have to be up and about you know so yeah i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna shower and you guys will still be spending this sunday with me until i go to sleep and that's another reason why i like to be tired around this time and I don't try to wake myself up with coffee or anything around th around this time because I need to sleep early. I'm just trying to keep up, you know, that 5 a.m., waking up at 5 a.m. to work out and all that. I'm trying to keep that up, but the only way to keep that up is if I go to sleep early. So, so I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what I use in the shower, like, you know, for, for my face and everything. So the first thing that I do is I take off my makeup with coconut oil. This is great for taking off your makeup. If you buy the one that says cold, press, and unrefined, and it's or and make sure that it's organic and extra virgin coconut oil, you should not have a problem with breaking out. Um, my hairs are all over the place. You should not have a problem with breaking out. I haven't had a problem with breaking out because of the coconut oil. So just make sure that you buy the one that says cold press and unrefined and make sure that it's extra virgin coconut oil. I'm telling you it's the best because it moisturizes your skin so well and it takes it off so easily. And then what I do is I put on this mask. Now I'm not really big on masks just because I feel like they're more fun. I don't think they actually give like right away results and even long term I don't really they haven't really helped me with my skin much. I'm, I'm still using my pure clay mask from L'Oreal, so it's, I'm not gonna buy another one or a bunch of masks and then not use them, so I'm gonna keep using this one until it's done. And then after that, I do my tea tree oil spot treatment with some lotion, and this is the moisturizer that I use for like my whole body and my face. Um, this is just Avino, which is an amazing brand for dry skin. I put a little bit of that on the Q-tip and then drops, like two drops of tea tree oil and then spot treat, like where I'm breaking out. For my hair, I use this 
to for shine and then I also use this extra penetrating oil from Argan Oil of Morocco. It's great for dry hair and for frizziness. And then, oh, and I forgot, I'm sorry. After uh, the coconut oil, I use this brightening cleanser because it also helps take away, take off um, makeup. And then it helps with pigmentation and it's just the cleanser that I use after the coconut oil, forgot to mention that. I use this Maui for my shampoo and conditioner. It's been great so far. It's almost done, I need to get more. It's been so good. This is a conditioner, but I get the shampoo and the conditioner. And I get the one for dry hair. I use Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter for my body wash. And then I use Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. It helps me stay tan and also helps me my, my skin pigmentation stay even. And I love it because you apply it as you finish in the shower, you stay in the shower and while you're wet, you apply it on it on your skin and then you just pat it dry and like after a couple of weeks, you will start to see results. And then you just keep using it every other day to maintain that color. And I love this because I, I can also substitute it as, I can use this as a substitute for my moisturizer. So then I just use my Aveeno for my face. So it is 6.20. Right now, I took like an hour in the shower, basically. Because on Sundays, I like to take my time in the shower and time with my skin and my body and everything. Lately, I've been breaking out because of dairy, milk. I had to drink some regular milk, house milk, during the hurricane because I had no almond milk whatsoever and it was just horrible. I started breaking out here instantly. So yeah, not doing that anymore. Now I'm just gonna fold laundry, do some things around the house and just chill. put away what I do also is I catch up on all my videos my YouTube videos like I watch the people that I am subscribed to get some inspiration and then work on my own stuff and then maybe put something on TV like Netflix I haven't been watching Netflix because like I said in my how to quit bad habits video i'll link it up right here i would watch netflix all the time and it would be so hard to get up and actually do something so but as sundays are an exception i don't really stick to a specific show yes i miss you i miss 